All right, well, I'm still working with the electrostatic uh, motors and such. And uh, on this latest Corona motor, I found out that you can run these things on just two blades. Uh, I've seen several videos on YouTube where they're just using two blades on uh, one of these uh, non-segmented rotors. It's just got the foil inside a clear plastic tube. And it revs out quite nicely on just the two blades. It makes wiring it real simple. And this little uh, negative ion generator that puts out 3 to 6 kV has been really, really good for this type of experiments. And I have to thank OU Brads for uh, turning me on to that. And Brad, thanks for the, uh, the tip on that in your video. And I'm running uh, mine off of two 9-volt rechargeable batteries or the wall outlet. And it runs, uh, runs these Corona motors really good. But the real reason for this video is I've been trying to get one of these electrostatic motors to run off atmospheric uh, like Laser Saber has done with zero success. Um, I don't have a tall enough antenna. I have no way to make one where I live. Um, and I'm getting nothing. But So I thought I would take a look at just what it might look like. This is just the other end of that uh, electrostatic uh, a negative ion generator just hanging out in free air and then there's nothing else attached to this motor now laser saber has his connected to a ground and then a tall antenna of about two three hundred feet straight up and if I could figure out a way to do that where I live I might get that motor to run and it might look like this let me start this up here you'll see the little corona motor revving way on up here And you see nothing's going on there, even though the, the other lead from the negative ion generator is pointing toward the motor, nothing is happening. But if I touch the negative part of this circuit, let's see if I can get this all in here, watch the motor start up. And that's with me touching the ground basically the return path on the negative ion generator nothing else is attached to the motor there it's getting the feed from thin air and there's no ground connection so this is really what I'm looking for uh, getting something like that to happen outside with an antenna and a ground and like I say so far I've had zero success on it but uh, that's the latest with my uh, experiments with electrostatic devices Thanks for watching.